so now the next thing for me now is to manipulate this pattern to form what i want this to form so if you notice on this pattern i did not mark out my dart okay the dart that we have here is not here this is a dartless pattern and this is because i want to have several channels on this so i'll be sharing this dart among the channel that's why i don't have a dart on it so you just need to trace your basic pattern and then you're not going to include your dart so now the first thing i'm going to do now is to draw out my neckline so this is totally up to you you choose whatever neckline that you wish to work with for me i'm going to be working with a sweet tart neckline so now you measure the depth that's how deep your neckline is going to be so this is like an half shoulder is an overbust corset so you have to be mindful of how low you go if you don't want to expose too much bust so you can either take this measurement from your shoulder points like this but i just like to take my measurements from my apex so so easily from my nipple point i can decide how high i want my neckline to be so for you can take it from here but like i said i like taking mine from here so now i know from my nipple point five to six inches is fine from me upwards so here now i can take five inches or six inches but i'm just going to leave it as five and a half so you can see i'm placing my tape measure so from here i have five and a half inches and then i'm going to place it like this and mark it so the same thing i did here i'm going to do for the other dart leg i have five and a half inches like this and then i'm going to mark it here also so to cut to trace to draw out my neckline remember i said i want a sweetheart neckline so i cannot take what i've taken here so i'm just going to be reducing this measurement by one inch or one and a half inches so that i can form my sweetheart neckline for me so from this point also you can take your ruler to note where you have this on your center front which is here remember i did five and half here so i want to be reducing this by one and a half inches so i'm going to be measuring four inches upwards here so that i can have a curve if i take five and a half what i'm going to have is just a straight line and i don't want that so i want this curved as i'm taking four inches there and then from there i'm going to take my curved ruler and draw out my sweet heart neckline so i'm going to connect this to this first then i'm going to take my ruler again you can see how i'm placing it i'm making sure that i don't have any sharp edge so you make sure that it's clean and then you draw out your curve okay so after doing that curve i'm going to connect this to my ham hole by making sure that i don't have any sharp edge also so from here i'm connecting this to my ham hole and you can see what i have there so this is going to go over your bust. This is going to be like your chest, chest line, where your corset is going to stop on the upper part. So you want it to be really firm because you don't want your boobs to be your bust to be coming out of the of the outfit. So to do this now, I'm going to be tightening this further so that it can really grip it very well for me. So now it depends on how much tightening that you want to do. You can do. 10% 20% from 10% to 100% in fact you can even do beyond that but what I do I use normally is just 50% I just tighten this with 50% but you can do more than that if that is what you want and I'll be showing us how we can tighten our bust so like I said 50% tightening is fine for me so the formula you need for that is your that okay this that that you have here this shoulder that, that you have here divided by 100 multiply the pass by the percentage that you want to work with okay over one so in my case i said i'm working with 50 percent okay you can do or let's just do 60 percent you can do whatever it is that you want so now the that that i'm working with i'm just going to take my tape now and measure what i have there so on my that area i have almost four inches so around four inches so i'm just going to leave it at four inches so I'm going to input that on where I have my dart, 4 inches, divided by 100, multiplied by 60, okay, or 50, or whatever it is that you want to work with, divided by 1. So I'm going to cancel this, and then 6 times 24. So what you just need to do now is to divide what you have here by 10. So just work that out, and then 
I'm left with 2.4 inches. It means I'm doing a dart intake of 2.4 inches on my shoulder to tighten my bow. So 60% is a bit much, but if you know that is what you want, it's fine. But you can also do 20, you can do 30. Depending on, if the person has a very big bust, you can tighten it well so that it's not going to be coming out of the bodies. But for me, I normally use 50%, okay? So if I'm using 50%, what it means is that i'll have 4 over 100 times 50 over 1 okay so after calculating this now i'll be left with 4 times 5 20 divided by 10 and that is going to mean 2 inches which means i'll be taking a dart of 2 inches from my from my shoulder area so you can see the difference that we have so now if i'm taking a dart of two inches i'm going to be sharing this dart between these two dart legs the one that is closer to the neckline is going to take less dart compared to the one outside here so i have two inches to share so on this side i'm going to be taking a dart of quarter three quarter of an inch that's 0.75 so this is 0.75 so from where my dart leg stops now i'm going to take 0.75 outwards like this and then on the other leg now if you check i have 0.75 and if i remove this from two inches i'll be left with 1.25 that's one and a quarter which is here so on this side now i'll place my tape now and then i'll measure one and a quarter so from there now i'm going to connect this that back to my apex like this and then like this Okay, so you can see the intake that I've done on this. So this is going to make my bust really firm. So like I said, you can just do like 20 inches if this is too much for you. Because if we check this now, I have like quarter of an inch here. And then I have almost half inch here. So that's like taking away more than one inch. So it depends on how firm you want this to be. So the next thing we need to do now is to do our reduction. So in the first class, we snatched the waist directly on the fabric. And like I said in that class, we can either do that directly or we do that on our pattern. So in this class, we're going to be snatching it on our pattern before we transfer it to our fabric. So I have like a mini table here. Okay, so the B here is my bust. This is my under bust, my waist and my hip. Okay. So now this is going to be my, this is my actual measurement. That is the measurement you took on your client. Then the quarter of an actual measurement. Remember, we are working on the quarter bodies. This is divided by four. What we have here is not the full body. This is the quarter. So I need to divide that measurement by four. So you divide whatever you have here to have this. Okay. So the next one we have now is the draft. The draft is what you have on your bodies. Okay. So the draft for me now, for example, for my waist now. The draft is the waist measurements that I have here. So I'm just going to take my tape measure now and measure what I have here. And here I have around 11 and 11, 11 and a half. Okay, I have around 11 and a half here. So which means now for my waist here, I'll have 11.5 for my draft. Then the next thing is the reduction. So what I want us to understand here, if you look at the waist that I have here, I've already done my reduction. The actual waist that I'm working with is 38, but I want to do a six inches reduction. So 38 minus six, that is why I have 32 in this bracket. So it is this waist that I reduced, that I used to get my quarter. So 32 divided by four gave me eight inches. I hope you understand that. And that is the only one that I'm doing reduction on for now. So now I'm going to make what I have here on my draft and input this value here okay so I just want to quickly explain this now to get your underboss sometimes what you have on the draft as your true bust line may not represent where your apex is so in that case what you just need to do now is to take your measurement from take your paper to your shoulder here and measure what you have as your own apex on your bodies okay so we're having issues with where 
your true apex is and is not on the draft what you just need to do is to take your own actual measurements and then replicate that on your pattern so now the next thing i want to do now is to draft my under bust and then the under bust that i'm working with here is 3.5 inches so from my true bust line here i'm going to measure 3.5 inches and then i'm going to make it into a straight line okay so this is going to be my under bust so we may want to label this because we have several lines already so this is the waist this is the under bust this is the true bust line and this is the armhole line okay i hope you can see that clearly now so now the next thing i want to do now is to measure my draft and then put it here so for my bust i have 12 and a half inches so i'm going to put the 12 and a half inches here for my under bust i have 11 and quarter 11 and three quarter sorry 11 and three quarter so here i'm going to put 11.75 and then for my hip okay my hip is still the same i did not include i did not add anything to my hip so my hip remember when we were drafting i used my actual measurements for my hip so we don't need anything on the hip and we are not reducing anything on the hip so now the next thing is for us to calculate the reduction that we are doing so to calculate this you need to subtract your draft from your quarter measurement so for me my draft is 12.5 so i'm going to be removing that from my quarter measurement of 10 of 10.75 and that's going to give me one and quarter one and three quarter 1.75 so for my under bust i'm going to remove 8.11.75 from 8.5 and that's giving me 3.25 and then on my waist i'm subtracting this and that is giving me 3.5 so these are the reduction that i am doing so like i said you are going to be having four panels for the front and because to distribute this okay so this reduction now is my that that i'm going to be taking on each of this panel so to make this easier remember i'll be distributing this distributing 1.75 into 3 may be a bit confusing so i'll be transferring this i'll be converting this that this remember these that now are in inches i'm going to be converting it to centimeters so that we'll have something bigger to work with and it will be easier for us to to transfer to add to share this that among our panels so now 1.75 i'm going to check that on my tape measure and then i'll just fold this and check what i have so here now i have around 4.5 in centimeter so i'm just going to include that and put that here for my under bust i have 3.25 so here i'm just going to check where 3.25 is and then i'll fold it and check what that is giving me in centimeter so in centimeter i I have around 8.4 so here i'm going to put 8.4 so here 3.5 again i'm going to fold my tape measure now and see what i have in centimeters and that is nine inches so this is the reduction that i am doing on my pattern okay so to reduce this now to start our reduction you need to divide this into panels so you need to decide how many panels that you want for this okay it can be two can be three it can be four it can be five depending on what you want so now i'm going to measure what i have on my waist that's your draft measurements what you have on your paper and for me i have 11 and a half as the draft for my waistline so now this 11 and a half i want to divide this into three panels so i'll divide the 11 and a half by three and that's giving me around 3.9 or thereabouts so i'm just going to approximate this into four so i just need this to divide this pattern so if i have four inches on my waistline i'm going to mark four inches here and then i'll move my tape measure and then i'll mark another four inches dividing this into three for me as you can see so if you're dividing this by four you just need to divide that 11 and half or whatever measurements you're working with by four and then you mark it so now so that i can get a straight line i'm just going to come here now and then do the four inches again so i have my four inches now using my straight ruler i'm going to connect this upward like this okay so i'm sorry i have 
several lines on this so it's better to actually draft this with pencil so that all the lines like all these lines now i don't need it all the lines that you don't need you can easily erase it but because this is a tutorial and i want us to see it well so i just have to use a marker so just follow what i'm doing so now the next thing now is to start sharing our our that okay so this reduction that that we have and then remember we have divided this into into we have converted this into cm so now for my waist i have nine inches so i'm going to share these nine inches that i have among these lines that i have here so the first one i'm going to give this that is this center front on my center front i'm going to take a dash of one cm so you can see how small one cm is that was why i had to convert this into centimeter because it's not going to be easy for me to share it in inches that's why i have it in centimeters so now i'm going to take one cm here and then i'm going to mark it on my cm side so here i have my one cm okay so i'm taking one on this and then i have one two three to share the dots also so i like to give the dots that the the dot that is very close to my apex point which is this i like to give it the most most number okay so i have nine inches to share i've taken one inch already i have eight inches left nine minus one so among the eight inches that i have left i'm sharing four inches for the four sorry four cm i'm used to working with inches four cm so i've given one cm to this so i'm giving four cm to the dust that is very close to my apex so if i have four here four plus one that's five it means i have nine inches that left okay four plus four plus one that's five so five minus four nine means four so it means i have nine four inches that to share left i'm sorry i have four inches to share i'm like these two two lines so out of those four inches i'm giving three to this okay which means i have one so the remaining one that i have i'm just going to give to the side seam that i have i hope you understand that i have nine inches that's to share like i said i like my the dart that is very close to the apex to take the most that that's why i'm giving this four inches you can just share this anyhow you want so my center front is taking one one centimeter centimeter please i'm working with centimeter so this is taking one cm the one close to the dart to the apex is taking 4 cm then this is taking 3 and this is taking 1 so if you had all of this together it's going to give us 9 inches here that is our with 9 cm that is our reduction so now i have successfully shared my 9 cm that's on my waistline so now i'm going to move to the underbust for the underbust i have 8.4 cm to share again on my center front a i'm going to give it 1 cm on my the dart that is very close to my my apex i'm going to give it 3.4 remember i have 8.4 to share so 1 plus 4.4 that's going to give me 4.4 cm and if i deduct that from 8.4 cm i'll be left with 4 cm to share between these two that so i'm just going to share it equally i'll give this 2 cm and this 2 cm so if you had all of this together it's going to give me the 8.4 cm that i have here so what do i do the next thing i'm going to do is to measure this that and then connect them so on this first one here i'm giving it one cm so here i'm going to measure one cm inwards okay then i'm just going to take this measurement all the way down so which means i'm taking one cm away from my hip measurement also for tightening i hope you can see this so i'm taking this down so i'm going to connect this to my neckline here to the hopper part here diagonally okay so i've taken my first that the next one is four inches on the waistline so this four inches i'm sharing four cm sorry four cm this four cm i'll be sharing it into two 
for each of my dart legs so i'll have two cm here and then also have two cm here to complete the four here i have 3.4 so 3.4 cm i'm going to divide 3.4 cm into two also and then i'm going to shear it okay so i'll have half of it here and then half of it here so after measuring that now i'm going to connect it to my waist like this okay so the next one is 3 in 3 cm so this 3 cm i'm going to divide it into two and then i'll have 1.5 cm here and also 1.5 cm here and then on the upper part i have 2 cm so i'll have 1 cm here 1 cm here it's very simple i hope you get what i'm doing so now i'm connecting this to my under post okay so if you don't mind if you just want to have a straight line what you just need to do is to connect this center line the four four inches that we use to divide this pattern you just measure the four inches again and then connect it straight all the way down like that but you know when you have that style line bent a bit it just gives it another style so i'm not going to be maintaining the four inches that i have here i want to bend this a bit so to do this now from my center fold i'm going to be measuring one and a half inches okay you can do two you can do one depending on what you want but i'm just working with one and a half inches for the first one so i'm going to mark one and a half inches here and then from where i have it instead of it to just go straight down like this i'm going to bend it a bit and then i'll have it like this that's for my that first that so for the second one from here now you can do one and half inches also or you can just increase it to two or you do two and half it all depends on what you want so for me i'm doing two and half inches here and then from there also i'm going to connect it to the hem in a slightly slanted form like this so you can see what i have it's no longer straight so now i'm going to complete my dart by connecting from here all the way to my waistline and then i'll also do the same for this so i'll come here also I'll connect this to my waist and then also like this so you can see what i have on my m so you can bend it as much as you want if you want it really bent instead of the one and a half inches that i use you can just use one inch here depending it's all up to you and what you want to achieve so now the next thing now is for me to go upwards here by three to four inches okay so i'm just going upwards by three and a half inches this is just to shape the end of my blouse and then using my curve ruler i'm going to connect this to the hem so you have to remember what you did here because remember you are sewing the front and back together and you're going to be using this for to style the back also so i went up by three and a half inches and then you can just mark like one inch outwards here and then from there you connect it in the slant form to your hem okay like this so i'm just finding okay so i'm just connecting this to my hem and this is what i have so now i'm sure with the lower part the next thing is for me to work on the other upper part then i can shape this side so to shape this side let me just shape this side remember i allocated a dart of one cm for this side so now i have my one cm here and on the under bust here i allocated two cm so i have to see him here and then if you check my draft for my bust my actual bust is 10.75 and then the draft that i have is 12.5 so i have 1.75 inches reduction to do so on my hand hold area here i'm going to measure that 1.75 okay so 1.75 is here and then i'm going to reconnect this using my curve ruler so i'm going to take all these points together and then i'm going to reconnect okay sorry connecting i'm going to blend this back to my 
first to my sorry to my hip line okay so you can see what i have now i've taken care of whatever reduction that i need to do here so now the next thing now is to share this dart that we have here so that we can form our cup so to do this i'm going to measure what i have just for my tightening remember we did the tightening so i'm measuring from here to here so if i take my tip now and then i take it around what i have here is three inches and then remember we are sharing this that in cm so i'm just going to fold these three inches now and what i have here is around eight inches so i have eight inches to share among these two dart lines and like i said I like the the one with the cup to carry more that so I'm just going to give five inches to this and then three inches to this side so the five inches that I'm giving to this side I'm going to share it into two, five cm sorry five cm so the five cm I'm giving to this that I'm going to share it into two now so I'll have 2.5 on this side I'm working with this line please let me just extend it a bit I'm working with this 4 cm line that we the dart line that we use to divide our pattern so from that that line i'm going to measure two and a half inches like this and then i measure another two and a half inches like this so using my curve driller i'm going to connect that to my to my true bust line that's my apex line so you can see how i'm placing my curve driller so from here now i'm connecting this like this okay and then on the other side this is the 2.5 inches i'm connecting like this i'm just going to shade this out but it's when i'm true so that we can see the dark lines very well okay and then from this true bust also i'm going to connect it to the under bust so from here now i'm connecting this to the under bust like this and then here also i'm connecting to the under post like this okay so i'm true with this side i allocated 3 cm to this side so this 3 cm i'm going to divide it into two also and then i'm going to have one and half inches on both sides so i have one and half inches here and then one and half inches here also so just like i did for this i'm going to connect it to my true bust line here using this curve driller so i'm connecting from here like this and then on the other side also i'll connect this and then i'm going to connect to my under post so from here i'm going to connect and then from here also i'm going to connect this so i'm going to shade out this that so that we can see the dots that we have taken you can see how we have taken our dots so far okay so i have shaded out this dot now i can see it clearly okay and i hope you understand how we have taken this dots what i did was to divide this into three panels one two three because that is what i want and then after dividing it into these three panels by dividing and how did i do this i measured what i have on my waist draft and then i divided it by the number of panels which is three then i used that to make my division and after making my divisions the reduction that we have here i share this among these that okay so that is why we have it and for the hopper part the that that we have as our shoulder that was what i measured what i have there and then i also shared it among my dads so now the front is okay but before you cut this now you need to label it one two and three or you label it center front middle front and side front whichever one you need you want to work with so that you don't get confused so now i'm going to set this aside now and work on the back okay, so the back is quite simple i have my back pattern also that less i just transferred the pattern that we did earlier in the class and then i have it like this i did not include any that in this so now the next thing i'm just going to do now i'm going to be having three panels for the back also just the way i divided my front panel i'm going to have measure what i have here on my draft i have 10 inches here and then i'm going to divide that into three 
So 10 divided by 3 is going to give me around 3.3 inches. So I'm just going to work with 3 and half, and then I'll divide that with 3 and half. I'm also going to measure it upwards here so that I can have the same measurements to draw out a straight line. So I have three and a half inches here, and then I'm going to make it into a straight line. So you're going to roll this upwards. So if you want it just straight, you can just roll it to your hip line. But because I want it to be a bit bent, just like I did for the front, I'm leaving my front part out. So now the next thing to do now is to reduce this measurement also using the same measurement that we used for the front so here on my draft here i have 10 inches okay so now these 10 inches that i have here remember that i said i want my waist notch to 8 inches quarter so i'm going to remove 10 from 8 from 10 inches then i'll have 2 inches so these 2 inches that i have here i'm going to share it among these that which means i'll have one here and one here so one here one here i'm going to take half an inch on both sides to make up the one inch and also here i'm going to take half an inch on both sides to make up my one inch the next thing is for me to connect this that to my shoulder point like this then the other one also i'm going to connect to my shoulder point so after connecting it to my shoulder point, you can connect it straight to your hip line or you can just do the same thing that I did. So here now, I'm just going to measure two inches or two and a half inches. I don't want it too bent. So if I measure two and a half inches here, I'm going to connect these two and a half inches and then I'll have it slightly bent like this. And then on the next one also, I measure two and a half or three inches. So like I said, this is actually totally dependent on what you want. It does not follow any rule. So I'm just measuring two and three quarter and then I'm going to connect it to my dart leg to have it a bit bent like this. And then I'm going to connect my dart like this and then like this. Okay. So I'll share this that out also so that we can see it better. So like I said, you need to remember that when you are styling the front one, on the hem here, we went up by three and a half inches. And then using our curve ruler, we connected this back to the center, back to the center back. So now I'm placing my ruler like this. I'm just trying to find a very good curve. And then I'm connecting it back to my hem. So after doing this, the next thing I need to do now is to decide what how deep I want my back neckline to be. So from the chest area here, I'm just going to go down by one inch or one and a half inches. I don't want it too deep, so one inch is fine for me. And then from there, I'm going to connect it back to my show my ample point like this so you can see the neckline that i have there i'm going to shade out my dart but before i do that on my center back i want to have like an opening because by the time i lace it i just want that opening to be there so for that here on my center back i'm going to be taking one and a half or one inch or 1.25 one and a quarter so i'm taking one and a quarter there and then i'm connecting it to my hem in a slanting form like this okay but this is what i want so if you don't want your back to be exposed and you are doing this you can just create a modesty panel and then use it to cover your back up we have learned this in the previous class so i'm going to shade my dad's house also and then we'll continue so i have my dad shaded out and this is what i have so before i cut this i'm just going to label this one two and three or you label it center back middle back and side back so whatever it is that you're going to use to recognize this easily and then you can just put an arrow here to indicate that this is the upper part before you cut it out so that you don't get confused so this is what i have for my back and this is what the front is looking like so on this side now you need to make sure that they are equal you can see 
the three and a half that we went up by is giving me exactly the same thing because you're still going to sew them back so now before we cut this remember we have to reconcile this before we are sewing because we are sewing it back you have to do the same thing on this upper part also because you're going to be joining this that back before you cut it out you need to make sure that what you have on this side is what you have on the other side so i'm going to be measuring what i have here i have around six I have around five and quarter years so now on the other side i'm going to check what i have so i have more than that on the other side i have around 6.1 so this 6.1 also i'm going to come here now and make this 6.1 which is here and then i'm going to reconnect this to my center front so you need to do this so that it's not going to give you any issues when you're joining it so i've reconnected this like this as small as it is it can give you problems when you're joining if it's not reconciled so i'll do the same thing for this other side i have around 3.6 here and here i have less so i'll make this also up to 3.6 like this so you can see how much i'm adding to this so you can just mark this out to accommodate the 3.6 that we are including then i'm going to redraw this to match up with my hand hole okay so you can see what i have done here so now on the lower part also you may need to check it if it's going to be too much that is going to give you issues i have six and quarter here and here i have around six and a half so here also i'm just going to make it six and a half so that it's going to make it easy for me to easy for me to cut and then i'm going to connect this like this okay so these little, little things are very important because you don't want them to start giving you issues when you're joining okay so you do the same thing for this just check everything and make sure that they are all okay so after doing all that the next thing now is for me to cut out my pattern so i'm cutting this house now so i'm cutting it on this new line okay so this is my first pattern i'll go ahead now and cut the second one This is the second pattern and then I'll go ahead and cut the last one. Now I'm cutting it on this line. have my three patterns like this so i'll go ahead now and cut the back pattern so on the back pattern you notice that i did not do any reduction on my bust line on my chest line area because the 10.75 that i need the cutter of my bust is exactly what i have here i have exactly 10.75 that was why i did not bother to do any reduction here you can see what i have 10.75 so i'll go ahead now and cut out this pattern also cut out this now and this is what my front is looking like so if you check it now you will see that it's going to align perfectly on the hem here and also on the hem here so you need to check and be sure of that so this is what my front is looking like and this is what my back is looking like so now the next thing i need to do now is to go ahead now and cut this on my fabric